The new Autolith Touch lithotripter from Northgate Technologies provides a safe, simple, and convenient method of delivering bipolar electrohydraulic lithotripsy, or EHL, for the management of large and difficult biliary stones. The EHL probes are used endoscopically to successfully fragment stones that are formed in the biliary system. Large obstructing stones are fragmented into small pieces that can be extracted from the biliary ductal system into the duodenum. The Northgate EHL probes are fully compatible with the Boston Scientific Spyglass direct visualization system. EHL works by placing the Autolith Touch EHL probe through the Boston Scientific Spyscope access and delivery catheter. Via the Spyglass endoscope, the physician locates the stone within the saline-filled endoscopic field. The physician then places the probe tip within one to two millimeters of the stone surface and fires the EHL pulses with a simple step on the foot pedal. The pulses are micro shock waves that deliver tiny, powerful bursts of energy in the very small space just beyond the probe tip. This confined area of activity is referred to as the power envelope. The stone sits directly in the power envelope and is exposed to the isolated bursts of energy. The Autolith Touch lithotripter comes complete with all the required accessories the generator unit, power cord, extender cable, foot pedal, and operator's manual are seen here. The 1.9 French, 375 centimeter single use disposable probe was developed specifically for use with the spyglass system. These probes are purchased separately when needed. To get started, attach the removable power cord to the rear of the generator unit. Connect the opposite end to a properly grounded electrical outlet. Then turn on the main power switch. Now connect the pneumatic foot pedal to the front panel by pressing down the small flange located at the top of the connector. Depress the flange to release the cable. Attach the extender cable by simply lining up the green lines and pushing onto the connector marked probe. To remove the extender cable, turn the collar in the direction of the green arrow and pull. Either end of the extender cable can be used when connecting it to the generator unit. The disposable probe can then be connected to the free end of the extender cable. Align the green lines and push the fittings together. The collar will lock them in place. Next, use the up and down arrows to select the number of pulses to be delivered per foot pedal depression, as well as the power value. With the Autolith Touch system, the physician can gradually increase the number of pulses delivered per foot pedal depression, as well as the power level of the pulses to effectively break the stone into smaller pieces for complete removal. When used for the first time, it is recommended to start with one pulse per foot pedal depression, but the value can be adjusted from one to 30 pulses. A setting of five pulses per foot pedal depression provides thorough stone destruction while allowing for control of the probe tip and its proper alignment to the stone surface. The power level can be set to low, medium, or high. It is recommended to start by using low power as this setting can be quite effective and will extend the overall life of the disposable probe. Increase the power level for larger, harder stones. When the probe begins to reach the end of its useful life, the inspect probe message will begin to appear. The message will appear more often as it continues to be used. The replace probe message will eventually appear when the probe life ends. The probe will then need to be replaced. 
Ensure the Autolith Touch device is in the standby or pause mode when not in active use. The unit is in standby mode when the green arrow symbol is pronounced. Be sure to use normal 0.9% saline to fill the endoscopic field in preparation for the procedure. Electrohydraulic lithotripsy will not be effective in sterile water. Normal saline must be used. To prepare for the procedure, the probe is inserted into the Boston Scientific Spy Scope Access and Delivery Catheter using the instrumentation port located near the top of the catheter. Gently feed the probe through the working channel. The probe tip position should be placed one to two millimeters from the surface of the stone and five millimeters in front of the Boston Scientific Spyglass Direct Visualization Probe. Be sure to align the probe tip perpendicular to the surface of the stone. Once the probe is in position and the endoscopic field is infused with saline, a clinician may depress the green arrow symbol to take the unit out of standby mode. The physician can then step on the foot pedal to start firing the EHL pulses at the stone. To release another burst of EHL pulses, the physician should completely step off of the foot pedal and then step back down again. The power and number of pulse selections may be modified as required between EHL pulse applications until the stone has been fragmented. To periodically clear the immediate field of view of fragmented stone debris, simply infuse additional saline from the fluid delivery pump. This is controlled from a foot pedal located on the floor. During the procedure, depress the standby icon at any time when the EHL treatment is not required. This will prevent an unintentional discharge of EHL pulses if the foot pedal is accidentally depressed. The total number of EHL pulses delivered can be viewed during the procedure. Reset the value by depressing the reset value icon. When the lithotripsy procedure is complete, any remaining stone fragments may be removed from the ductal system using the methods and instrumentation recommended by the physician. Various tasks may be performed using the setup menu. Factory default settings can be changed and stored by depressing the program defaults button and then changing the number of EHL pulses or power level to the desired preferences. Whenever changes are made, be sure to press the store data icon to save the information. Restoring the factory set defaults can be made and stored at any time by depressing the restore factory default icon. Remember to always press the store data icon to save the changes. Similar modifications can be made to the alert volume and the default language for the device. Changes may be disregarded and any previous screen may be accessed by depressing the return to previous screen icon. When finished for the day, the unit can be powered down by depressing the power down icon at the top left side of the main operating screen. The green LED changes to blue when this occurs. The unit is still powered but is no longer active. To activate the unit once again, simply touch the front of the display screen. This activates the display and readies the unit for use. If desired, to turn off power from the unit entirely, depress the main power switch located on the back of the unit. Because of its safety, efficacy, ease of use and affordability, Electro-Hydraulic Lithotripsy and the Autolith family of products represent 
a time-tested tool for the therapeutic physician and are an essential component of any modern stone management program.